Hello, Royal folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. The nine-year-old who was second in line to the throne was one of the four boys who held the robes of Charles outside the abbey. He stood along sound pages behind the kneeling Charles as he prayed. George was then seen looking around the church as the ceremony began. Prince William's eldest son was joined by his siblings, Louise and Charlotte. And Prince George is one of the four attending to King Charles on the day and forms part of the procession that walks through the nave of Westminster Abbey. The four schoolboys are helping to carry the king's robes during the first coronation of a British monarch for 70 years. Prince George, the youngest of the pages, is joined by Lord Oliver, Caldemone, Master Nicholas, Barclay, 13, and Master Ralph, Tolmaki, 12, who together make up the King's Pages of Honor. Lord Oliver Cholmondi is the son of one of Prince William's closest friends. Nicholas Barclay is the grandson of Sarah Tongantone. One of Camilla's companions with Master Ralph Tolmachi is the eldest grandson of Baron Tolmachi. And it has long been known that both William and Charles wanted the young prince to play a central role in the coronation due to his position as second line to the throne. And furthermore, they also want Prince George to have a role, as one day he'll have the exact same experience and become king. Ahead of the coronation on Saturday, Prince George joined other senior roles at Westminster Abbey to rehearse the roles they'll be playing at the coronation. And King Charles was joined by Queen Camilla, Prince William, Princess Kate, Prince George and his younger siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louise. Prince George arrived at the rehearsals in a navy suit alongside his father, also in a navy suit as they prepared for the ceremony. So what do you think about this news? Do you think Prince George has shown why he will be a great future king? Do you think King Charles had indirectly given a brutal reply to Harry through Prince George that his future in the monarchy is now over? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.